We got a big teardown going on now. We got a oxygen concentrator that we're going to take apart and have a look at. I think I'm going to do a two-part video, just in case this will be a little bit too long. So yes, in part one, in this one, I will just take the support and uh, talk a little bit how it's working. Maybe do some experiments with the output uh, oxygen. And on the second part, I will actually take apart the sieve bed and actually have a look at it and how the granules operate. So yes, the hospital did throw out two of these uh, oxygen concentrators. I take home this one and the other one I just take apart in small pieces and took it home as well. But it's still operational. I didn't throw out anything. I just throw out all the plastic casing. So it's a pretty huge, big unit. It's pretty heavy as well. You can see on the panel there is a millennium and we got like power, we got oxygen, we got uh, low oxygen I think. And we got some warnings here. So yes, if I turn it on right now just alarms because I haven't plugged it in yet it has a 9 volt battery inside it a power cut occurs this will scream and the patient will notice that there is a power cut and will and they need to change the oxygen bottle instead and on this side we got this uh, adjust adjustment here and here you can see the flow in a liters per minute and it's a Reciprox uh, Kennesaw GA USA, some um, USA made unit. Maximal oxygen is 94% or plus minus 2%. IPX1, and it's safe for medical use. And we got uh, 230 volts, 2.5 amps. And another thing, it's double insulated. So everything is plastic. Here's the plug or a connector. I uh, use some little flashlight here, you can see something, 4 amp fuse and we can see here we got only 2 pins, the face and the neutral we don't got any earth pin, because this unit is uh, double insulated and this is a bit further up, we got this little uh, place here, you can remove this lid and in there we got the HEPA filter this is the main HEPA filter, it's on the top of the compressor, it sucks the air in from this. And a HEPA filter is a high efficiency particle arrester. Yes, before we take it apart, let's see how long this unit has been turned on. Unbelievable, look at how many trees we got there. 33,000 hours, a little bit more. So it sounds like much, but actually it has just been turned on for like four years continuously. Yes, let's take off the lid and see what we can find inside. So yes, lid is removed. Lot of uh, sound insulation. So yes, this is how it looks like in, looks inside. We got this sieve bed. We got a cooling fan or a squirrel cage and a little shaded pole motor and in that box there we got the compressor so as on the back there there's a squirrel there's the squirrel cage uh, fan and there's a big buzzer I put this little tape thing on it because it sounds like sh and more we got a pressure sensor down here and on the back here we got some little transformer and stuff there's not so much on that, and there's another circuit, circuit board on the bottom there with the oxygen sensor. Yeah, so here's the actual sieve bed, the Reciprox oxygen concentrator. As you can see here, it's made in 2002, so it's pretty old, so of course they want to change that. It's not a new unit actually, it's a pretty old unit. Of course, nobody wants to use uh, this thing if it's not actually concentrating enough oxygen on a... Uh, sick person yes, here's on the top of the sieve bed we've got this valve pack we've got a looks like a pressure sensor here it's a tap on the reservoir tank between the two sieve beds it goes through here and the pressure sensor is over there so that makes a feedback to how to change these uh, valves in a correct uh, order 
And now I remove the complete compressor housing and it reveals the compressor here on its springs. Look at that. That's a good job, is it? Very nicely made. That takes away all the vibrations from the compressor. Very springy. Got its start capacitor down here. I put back the HEPA filter. So this was this device was going to the shaded pole motor on the squirrel cage fan. It blows air on this uh, uh, cooling fins here because the actual compressor gets pretty warm and it compresses the air. Yes, this is how the housing looks like. Here's a, here's a squirrel cage, and inside of it, you can see more sound uh, insulation. And now we can actually see this uh, circuit board for the oxygen sensor. That's actual oxygen sensor here. So I want to turn it on. And I can see the compressor is running. And I can slightly hear the valves here changing. And you can see here, we've got LEDs on the valves. Now we can see how it's operating. Just to check if that doesn't get too hot. Yes, that's a very shaky compressor actually. You can see here, this light is blinking. And here you can adjust the flow. And out of here we get the oxygen. Notice this ball here. It's getting a bit warm, so I'm going to disconnect it. So yes, it beeps, because it thinks it's a power cut. Let's see, we've got a flow here. It's in the reservoir tank. Still enough pressure in that one. This is maybe not the best oxygen test, but I will test it anyway. Look at that, that burns pretty badly. Just have to blow it out a bit. So yes, we're definitely getting some oxygen there. Burning my fingers. But yes, this is definitely giving out some oxygen. So yes, oxygen concentrators are amazing uh, equipment that have saved many people's lives through the years. I'm going to take I'm going to put everything back together on this unit and I'm going to go to the next unit in the part two and I will tear down the uh, this part here, the sieve bed, and we'll see what it looks like. And maybe we can even put a pressure gauge on the compressor to see how much pressure we get. I think there's a safety valve. I can maybe remove that and put a pressure gauge there instead. So yes, hope you found this video interesting. And we will see more of these in part two. Thanks for watching. See you soon.